All right, well, this is pretty much <clears throat> the final installment and conclusion of the restoration of this 1960s Murphy 23 inch Super Signal TV. Just look, just going back through my old YouTube videos, um, basically it's taken me exactly a year and one month <laughs> almost to restore this thing. So well, I suppose because good things take time, I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, I've cleaned all the cabinet up and everything. It's all looking quite nice indeed. Clean the screen and the and the surrounding surrounds and everything, all the plastic and all that. So you yeah, know, I'm pretty happy with it and. Uh, yeah, basically another set down, another set done and restored, and yeah, I've got plenty more to do, so stay tuned for more videos at some stage in the future. Alright, without further ado, I'll turn it on and you can see it going. I have to say, probably one of the slowest restorations I think I've done. <laughs> but uh, you're pretty glad it's pretty much come to an end now. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over... I actually quite like the old Twilight Zone series. I never saw it because it wasn't alive back then, but yeah, it's quite cool watching old black and white ones. No doubt YouTube will probably, probably bloody bang up a, co a copyright flag for this, but... What the hell, I'm not too fussed about it. Um, you know, and considering the tube, well, the tube actually tested, the tube actually tested pretty, pretty low when I initially got the thing, but, um, it still seems to have plenty of brightness and contrast, even considering the tube seems to, you know, still, you know, still a bit, still a fair bit of decent contrast and brightness, there's still a hell of a lot of life, life left in that tube yet, so I'm pretty happy with it. So, not bad at all, really, not bad at all. I'm pretty impressed to ever do, do say so myself. It's going pretty well. Yeah, so I've actually got, um, I've got two other AWA Murphy TVs with the same chassis, um, so I'll get around to those at some stage. Don't know when they're kind of buried in the depths of the of the room here, so with other stuff piled on top of them. So it could be a while before I get to those, but um, yeah, for now I'll uh, I will sit back and enjoy using this one and to see how it goes. Drab and undistinguished. Yeah, still got to clean the volume control though. I'll put those quick squid squid with the ox in it. He has an errant wish that the rest of his life might be sent out to a laundry to come back shiny and clean. This to be a gift of love to a son named Pip. Mr. Max Phillips, Homo sapiens, who is soon to discover that man is not as wise as he thinks. Said lesson to be learned in the Twilight Zone. Mm. No, well, this pretty much concludes this video, so, um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you learnt something and enjoyed the the rather drawn-out restoration of this TV, and, uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty pleased it's done, and um, I'm going to sign off here and say goodnight, and, um, yeah, I'll uh, basically leave it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Cheers.